good morning my dear students today we are going to do a very beautiful chapter very touching one chapter our house is not up okay uh, this chapter is basically a story of a teenager boy that teenager is of your age see this age is a age you can say to enjoy to have fun to have friends okay uh but in this chapter there is one of a teenager of your age and there is a drastic change in his life what is that drastic change in his life he has to change his school uh he has to make new friends he has to adjust in a new school he has to adjust with new teachers uh everything was completely changed in his life at that time do you know what was the reason behind that see suppose in your life this situation comes that you have to change your school you have to change your friends you have to change your locality you have to change your te teachers each and everything you have to change would you be able to cope up with that situation i just want to ask you at this age would you be able to cope up with this situation it will be very much difficult so there is one of the teenager whose story is tell due to some of the bad circumstances he has to change each and everything you know what was the reason behind that the reason is very much pathetic sympathetic full of pity the reason is that his house got fire his house was completely burnt and that's why he has to leave that place he has to shift in new area where he has to get admission in a new school and he has to make new friends and more pathetic condition was that there that that teenager was in love with very small very beautiful pet cat that teenager was having one pet cat and when that house got burned he thought that his cat has burned in that fire so he was emotionally completely broken because he thought that during that accident his uh, pet cat was completely burned but after some months when there was a construction of his new house in that same area and when he went in that area to see that house all of a sudden one of a lady came to that boy and she gave him a pet and that was the same pet which was basically you can say saved it was not burnt in that fire it was saved so that teenager that boy he became so happy now it became really easy for him to adjust in a new environment to adjust with new friends to adjust in a new school to adjust with new teachers and moreover when that teenager went into a new school there were so many students who really helped him during his difficult phase so because of their love because of their cooperation he really adjusted in a new environment so this is a very beautiful story you people are going to enjoy it but if you really want to enjoy this chapter you all should have your own book whenever if i am if i say any of the child to read text from the book it doesn't mean that you share only that uh, uh, text from my uh, text from zoom screen you all should have books with you only then you will be able to enjoy the beauty of the text and you'll be able to write down the meanings of difficult words okay so shall we start show me thumbs up if you all are ready with your books show me thumbs up only some of the students have shown 9th a and b today we are going to enjoy more because instead of one class today we are having two classes two classes are club 9th a and 9th b so get ready with this so i'm going to give duty to one of one by one 
need to you to read the text i will be telling you the meanings of difficult words you jot down the meanings and i will be explaining you so get ready so instead of giving duty to 9th a first i will give duty to 9th b i will give a chance to 9th b one child then 9th q then 9th b 9th a so on so both of the section should be getting attention so the need for you read first paragraph Unmute yourself. Yes, ma'am. My first year of high school felt awkward. After leaving junior high, at the head of my class, with all the seniority the upper grade levels could afford me, it felt strange starting over as a freshman. The school was twice as big as my old school, and to make matters worse, my closest friends were sent to a different high school. I felt very isolated. Okay, so here narrator is sharing his experience. Okay, so he is telling that when he went to a new school, so the in high school the first year was very much awkward. What is the meaning of awkward? Can anybody tell me? Awkward means you type in chat box only, बच्चे. Awkward means bad. Okay, so the first year of high school really felt he was feeling so bad because when he was in juniors school, okay, and after that he has to shift to upper grade for seniority, so that could really afford him. Okay, but it really felt strange when you are going to start like a freshman. Okay, the next school was as you can say double. Double big, uh, twice big, okay. As my old school, it means uh, space wise, it was so big, okay. But the matter was becoming worse and worse. Why so? Because his closest friends they were sent to different different kind of high schools, and that's why he was feeling so isolated. What is the meaning of isolated? It means alone. So he was feeling so. Alone, isolated. So, बच्चे write down the meanings of difficult words. Awkward, awkward means bad, and isolated, isolated means alone. Okay. So, in this paragraph, you have come to know two difficult words. Now, you you read next paragraph. You unmute yourself and read second paragraph. You has going to take his breakfast. I think so. Okay, Simran, you read second paragraph. Yes, ma'am. I missed my old teachers so much that I would go back and visit them. They would encourage me to get involved in school activities so that I could meet new people. they told me that in time i would adjust and probably end up loving my new school more than i had my old one they made me promise that when that happened i would still come by and visit them from time to time i understood the psychology in what they were saying but i took some comfort in its nonetheless okay so bachche now listen what is given in second paragraph here narrator is sharing his experience narrator is saying that he was missing his old teachers and he was feeling like that he should go back and he should miss he should visit and he should meet his old teachers okay uh, because they would encourage him to get involved to get involved means to get busy in school activities so that i could meet new people so this was the expectation of teenager boy okay so what was the you can say uh, what was expectation more that about teacher the teacher were always telling that narrator would be adjusting in a new school and he would be loving his new school more than his old one more than his previous school he would be adjusting and he would be loving his new school more okay so this 
promise was made and when happened so what was going on this was told by teacher and it was expecting that that narrator could come and meet that teacher time to time so in between whenever you, you can see it was feeling it was missing his old school he could come and meet his teacher but this was you can say surety by the teacher that when that child would adjust in a new school he would be liking his new school better than the previous one and in between he could come and meet his old teachers okay so he completely understood the psychology that why the teachers were saying like that okay but i took some comfort in it nonetheless write down the meaning of nonetheless it means in spite of what was saying but you write down the meaning of nonetheless excuse me ma'am ma'am aapka audio disconnect ho gaya tha 2 minute pehle repeat karna kya bola but you are taking your break first you have gone somewhere i was just passing a joke no problem bachche nonetheless in spite of what has in spite of what has just been said okay in spite of what has just been said so you can write down this meaning of this difficult word bachche okay so he was basically missing his you can say old teachers so shall i move further if these two paragraphs are clear okay now you you can read third paragraph third paragraph ma'am one day afternoon se one sunday afternoon yes hello ma'am yes one sunday after one sunday afternoon not long after one sunday afternoon not long after i had started high school i was sitting at home at our dining uh, at our dining room table doing homework it was a cold and windy fall day and we had a fire going uh, in our fireplace as usual my red tabby cat was lying on uh, was lying on top of all my papers purring loudly and occasionally sweating at my pen for entertainment's sake uh, she was never wait or far from me wait. i had so in this paragraph the narrator is telling that teenager boy is telling it was a time of sunday afternoon okay and not longer after i had started high school okay he has not started his high school he was in his house he was sitting at his dining room in his dining room table and that teenager boy he was busy in doing his homework it was a very cold day heavy wind was blowing outside and because of chilly weather they were having a fire and this fire was going at the fireplace and there was their red tabby cat what is the meaning of tabby write down this tabby meaning bachche all of you write down the meaning of tabby tabby means basically domestic domestic cat having fur and stripes on its body such kind of cat is having fur and it has little bit stripes on its body this is known as tabby cat okay clear so it was lying on top of all my papers so many papers were lying you can say there of uh, that teenager boy and cat was playing there and it was lying on top of all of his paper and it was purring loudly and occasionally sweating at my pen it was purring okay it was purring it means it was making sound and it was occasionally sweating at sweating at means sweat what is the meaning of sweat it means 
hit swat means to hit so it was you can say hitting at his pen for only entertainment sake only for the entertainment it was hitting its pen so this was the activity which was going in the house of teen ager on a very chilly day okay on a very cold day so next paragraph uh, this ninth b unmute yourself ashima yes start reading yes ma'am uh, she was never far from me i had rescued her when she was a kitten and somehow she knew that i was the one responsible for giving her the good life my mother kept stoking the fire to keep the house nice and warm suddenly i smelled sm something strange and then i noticed it uh, and then i noticed it smoke pouring in through the seams of the ceiling the smoke began to fill the room so quickly that we uh, actually the smoke began to fill the room so quickly then we yes we could barely see so, uh, so that we can barely see groping our way to the front door we all ran out in the into the front yard by the time we made our way outside the whole group was engulfed in flames and it was spreading quickly i ran to the neighbors to the to call the fire department while i watched my mother run back into the house okay now listen what is given here here that teenager boy was saying about telling something about its cat that this cat has never gone far from that boy and he had rescued her what is the meaning of rescued rescued means he had saved write down the meaning of rescued rescued means he had saved he had saved her when it was a kitten it means when that cat was too young too small like a baby because the baby of cat is known as kitten so when it was basically a kitten very small okay and somehow she knew that uh, that the narrator would be responsible for giving her the good life okay so it means when it she was so uh, you can say young one she was not able to understand anything okay she was a young one of a cat all at that age uh, narrator saved her life and that cat came to know that this is the only person who would be you can say giving her a good life okay so what was the activity that mother was doing mother was just you can say stoking the fire to keep the house nice and warm because it was a chilly weather it was cold outside they were having a fire in their fireplace so she was stoking stoking means she was moving the fire you can say upside down like that so that house could be kept nice and warm but suddenly narrator smelled something smelled something strange okay so what was that smell it was the smell of smoke because from the seams of the ceiling seam you can say line bachche write down the meaning of seam that from the seam of the ceiling ceiling is a roof from that seam seam you can say two pieces of wood and metals when two pieces of woods and metals are joined a line where two pieces of metals or wood is joined so they in the ceiling there was line when two pieces were completely joined so from that 
line smoke was coming out and that smoke really filled the house so quickly that they were they could barely see barely means they could what is the meaning of barely hardly they could hardly see so bachche write down the meaning of barely barely means they could hardly see it means it was very difficult for them to see because whole of the room was filled with smoke clear so write down these difficult words rescued means saved seems means a line between two pieces of metals or wood is joined and barely means hardly so after that i'm going to move further so groping our way to the front door groping means what is the meaning of groping groping means they made their way so write down the meaning of groping groping means to move forward carefully to move forward carefully okay so they were just moving their Uh, moving further to the front door and they ran out into the front yard okay so by the time when they made their way outside so you will be surprised to know that the whole of the roof was engulfed in flames engulfed means what is the meaning of engulfed so by the time they made their way to the outside that whole of the roof was completely flow over okay in uh, flames and this flame was spreading so quickly so in order to take help that boy ran to the neighbors and he wanted to call fire department okay and while he watched his mother she was running back to the house when they were busy in that activity that all were coming out all were running outside okay and they were just going to neighbors to call fire brigade to call fire department by the time he saw that his mother was going back to the fire so what was the reason why she was going back to the fire what did she want to carry from that fire so that is really a surprising thing and we all should be eager to know actually what was the reason why mother made a way back to the fire what was the reason behind that okay so for that i am going to give a duty to okay ridhima you read ridhima from 9th a class 37 roll number read beta now she has she has started taking breakfast or she has gone somewhere ridhima it means these students are not listening they keep their zoom on keep their camera off and they go to enjoy their food really strange okay diya handa you read my mother then ran out yes ma'am my mother then ran out of the house carrying a small metal box full of important documents she dropped the case on the lawn and in a crazed state ran back into the house i knew what she was after my father had died when i was young and i was certain she was not going to let his pictures and let us go up in flames they were the only things that she had to remember him by still i screamed at her mom no you read next also i was about to run after her when i felt a large hand hold me back it was a fireman i had not even noticed that the street had already filled with fire fire trucks i was trying to free myself from his grasp yelling you don't understand my mother's in there okay, okay. now there is a very beta but stop now there is a very uh, in, you can say twist in the story what was going on 
His house was completely engulfed in fire. Okay, mother and that teenager boy they came out, but all of a sudden, mother went inside because she was carrying one of a small metal box, and this metal box was full of important documents. But she dropped that case, that box, on the lawn, and in a very crazed manner, like a you can say in a mad state. she ran back into the house and narrator that teenager boy he was sure enough that uh, mother has gone inside in order to carry some of the pictures or some of the letters that belong to his father because his father was no more okay so mother had a collection of his pictures mother had a collection of letters and she did not want that all the things should go in flames these all the things should be burned so that's why she went inside because they were the very important things for that mother because she really had to remember him all so still he was screaming screaming means he was shouting no mother no don't go inside okay so write down the meaning of screaming screaming means shouting okay so that boy was shouting no mom no you don't go inside but at that time when he was about to run after her mother by the time a one hand came and he held him back what was that this was a fireman who stopped him going inside okay and he did not notice that within a very short passage of time whole of the street was filled with fire trucks okay he wanted to free himself from that grasp from grasp means from that hold of a here grasp means hold of hold of that fireman so he wanted to free himself from that fireman and he wanted to go inside in order to save the life of his mother and he was you can say yelling yelling means he was crying so he was crying he was shouting okay he wanted to free himself and he was telling this thing to fireman you don't know that my mother is inside i wanted to save his life she is there okay so this kind of conversation was going between teenager and that fireman because fireman was stopping him to go inside because it was their duty to save his life on the other hand he was so desperate he was so anxious and worried for the life of his mother who has gone inside to bring something okay okay now next should be read by divya from 9th a you read this yes ma'am he held on to me while other fire fighters ran into the house he knew what i was he knew that i wasn't acting very logically and that if he were to let go i did run he was right it's all right they will get her he said he wrapped a blanket around me and sat me down in our car soon after that a fireman emerged from our house with with my mom in tow he quickly took her over to the truck and put an oxygen mask on her i ran over and hugged her all those times i ever argued with her and hated her vanished at the thought of losing her okay she wait wait divya i guess you are not having book that's why now you were waiting that i should scroll the text so that you can read i know very well if you people are smart i am over smart you are student and i am your teacher i know you don't have books you have not opened it is so chilly you people all people feel lazy to take out your books and i am writing the difficult word meaning so that you can jot down these meanings 
on your books isn't it you are not having book na tell me the truth don't tell a lie yes ma'am uh, that's why you were waiting for me that i should scroll and so that you can read next time you all people should have book i can ask any of the child to show me their book and along with the meanings whatever i have written did you copy or not i just want to see have you copied or not okay so we were reading that that fireman was stopping him to go inside okay so he was holding him by the time another fire fighter he ran into the house okay and because that fire fighter was aware of this thing that the way he was behaving it was completely logical because if he were to let to go he if he were to let go so definitely he would uh, that uh, narrator would run he was right on the side so that's why another fire fighter go there and okay they took one of her blanket and they promised that they are going to bring his mother from inside the house okay one of the fire uh, fire fighter he took a blanket he wrapped him okay and he made him sit in his car okay by the time another fireman came out emerged means came out write down the meaning of emerged emerged means came out so one of the fire fighter came out and he was having uh, his mother in tow so here means a company so bachche write down the meaning of emerged emerged means came out and to to means accompanying a company okay and and they quickly took his mother to the truck okay and they put oxygen mask okay he ran to his mother he hugged her and at all those times i ever argued with her and hated her vanished at the thought of losing her so all those times because every time he have never you can say argued with her he you can say hated her also vanished at the thought of losing her because whenever such kind of thought was occurring in his mind that he is going to lose you can say uh, mother it was going to be because it he really hated that moment that this mother should not vanish at all vanish means his mother should not disappear at all he really hated that thought even that mother should be always with him mother should never disappear because he was already living without his father so whenever such kind of thought was coming in his mind that his mother is going to be disappearing so even he hates that thought also okay so up to that text is clear to you if you have any doubt you can ask me because time has gone out and we will be continuing this chapter from this paragraph she is going to be okay from this and ninth b you can tell your english teacher also that up to this we have read the text she can start this chapter from this paragraph she is going to be okay from this okay bachche i'm going to over your class thank you and have a nice day and next time you all should have your moment book with you along with pencils so that you can write down necessary details and difficult word meanings on your books okay okay bachche thank you and have a nice day take care of yourself